For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jason Nicola, and I'm an advisor here at Nicola Wealth Management. It's been a busy year for our company. Uh, it began with the addition of two new advisors, David Chalmers and Dylan Reese, and of course, now you can cheer. And uh, of course, their teams and the client families that they work with, many of whom are here tonight. Uh, they've been an absolute delight to work with and have brought some fresh personalities and fresh ideas to our company. Uh, just this past September, our chairman and CEO, John Nicola, was uh, honored with the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award for financial services. Uh, obviously, we're all very proud of him and uh, really the lifetime of hard work and achievement that that award uh, recognizes. Uh, we'll get to that part in a bit. Uh, just this past month as well, we were confirmed at Nicola Wealth Management as one of the finalists for the 50 Best Managed Companies in Canada. I couldn't have scripted this better. So we're all very excited to see how that turns out. Uh, and finally, uh, during what has been a year of uh, market volatility, uh, uncertainty, uh, and uh, what seems to be one piece of bad economic news after the other, We've been very happy to see that our client portfolios have been able to preserve capital uh, and maintain strong cash flows. And again, this is in a year where many Canadian investors still see their portfolios underwater from 12 months ago today. As clients and as friends of Nicola Wealth Management, you've all been huge contributors to our success. So we want to thank you for your business, uh, your support, and your faith. So thank you. We are here tonight uh, to talk about a very important topic, aging. We'll just get it out there. There have been a lot of very wise people who have uh, spoken or written about aging over the years, uh, but none with quite the unique perspective of my friend George Costanza. So a lot of you remember George Costanza from the hit uh, sitcom Seinfeld in the 90s. And this is what George had to say. I think the life cycle is backwards. You should die first. Just get it out of the way. Then you go to an old folks home. You get kicked out for being too healthy. You go, you collect your pension, then you start to work. And you get a gold watch on your first day. <laughs> you work 40 years until you're healthy enough to actually enjoy your retirement. And then you spend it drinking alcohol, partying, getting ready for high school. Then you go to elementary school. You're a kid again. You get to have fun. You have no responsibilities. Then you become a little baby. You relax, and you spend the last nine months floating with luxuries like central heating, spa, room service on tap. And you end your life as an orgasm. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. In all serious though, does aging have to be a bad thing? Does the quality of our life have to deteriorate as we get older? How can we prepare ourselves financially, emotionally, and otherwise for the aging of our families, the aging of ourselves, and the aging of our world? Our two speakers will be touching on all of those issues tonight. First, we have Patty Randall. Patty is one of Canada's preeminent experts, writers, speakers, and media commentators on the issue of care in Canada. And she'll be walking us through the costs of care in Canada, as well as the practical needs and considerations for aging successfully. Next, we'll have our chairman and CEO, John Nicola, a man who has a lot of personal experience with getting older. John will be examining the issues of healthcare and aging from an investment and a planning perspective and how the current and future economic climate will impact the financial strategies we use. And it's interesting, uh, I was chatting with Patty and John earlier, as far as we're aware, this is the first time in Canada where an expert of her nature has paired up with a financial planning firm to deliver a message on care in Canada. So it should be very interesting. Uh, before we get started, a couple of housekeeping items. Sorry we didn't get to them earlier. Cell phones. Please turn it on vibrate or silent if you haven't already. Uh, if you need it for an absolute emergency, vibrate, but otherwise, please turn it on silent or turn it off entirely. It would be even better. 
Uh, if you do need to use a washroom, no problem during the presentation, but please uh, go through that back door there where Laney's standing. Uh, if you use this uh, door, it is alarmed right now, so it will be a very interesting uh, situation if you try to go that way. Uh, and then last but not least, we will have a question and answer period at the end. So please uh, jot down your questions. We'll be sure to get to them then. So without further delay, uh, please help me in welcoming our first speaker, Patty Randall. <laughs> 